Hey guys, Jack Katz here. Today's episode, I'm going to show you some sunfish beds, meaning that in my neighborhood pond, the brim and sunfish have gone on the spawn or some people like to say they're they're on the bed and i want to show you what the beds look like and maybe do a little bit of fishing maybe catch a few that would be nice right there you will see the bed and what happens let me just kind of give you a little bit of a uh marine biology 101 here but what happens is that around this time of the year every may maybe early june the brim will go on the spawn and the females will lay their eggs and after laying their eggs they'll leave and the males will guard the beds to protect the beds from uh, predators and really anything that tries to mess up the bed. I'm going to walk around this way and show you another one. Don't see any over there. Let's see. Oh yeah, here's some better ones you should be able to see. These are more visible for you. Okay, so here's another bed. Now, I don't see a fish guarding this bed. Well, I do now. He's over there somewhere. Now, here's another one. This one's really cool over here. So this is what I have in my pond right now. And I can see probably 10 or so bluegill just protecting the bed, really. So I'm sure if I drop something, I can probably get one because they're very aggressive when protecting their bed. All right, guys, let's do a little bit of fishing. I, I brought uh, my ultralight rod, so, and I'll try to get that on video to show you guys. So stay tuned. We're gonna be using wax worms as bait. All right, so this is how I like to rig my wax worms. I've never caught bluegill off the bed here. Matter of fact, I don't even think I've ever caught bluegill off the bed. I've never really tried targeting it. Got him. All right, guys, we got our first, uh, got our first bluegill from the bed. Nice fish. Now, guys, when you're, uh, always remember, that's a, that's a good size. Now, I, I will say that, oh, <laughs> looks like he's, uh, was peeing on me there a little bit. Now, guys, th this is a bluegill, and I will say bluegill works really good for flatheads, live bluegill, even cut bluegill will work for flatheads and even blue catfish and channel catfish as well. But, and just understand guys too, like when you're bed fishing, throw one back, especially if you're, especially if you're fishing in a pond, you know, don't take any fish out of ponds because it gives other people a chance to catch them. So it's just really good practice. Oh yeah, just got a hit. Oh yeah. Wow, that's an itty bitty one. Look at that guy. <laughs> now this one is extremely small. But anyway, uh, throw him back. Got him, got him, got him. Got him. Ho! Oh. All righty. Nice fish.
Got him. It's a nice one there. Right on the right on the bed, fellas. Right on the bed. Nice one. I can just get one over here. I will be done. Got him. Got him. Whatever it is. We got him. We got him. Nice bluegill on the other bed. Right underneath that tree. <sighs> so glad we finally got this guy. Got him, got him guys. We got the shell cracker. We got the shell cracker. Holy moly. That is a beautiful shell cracker. He took it as soon as I backed up. Nice. We finally got him guys. Do not get right in front of them because if you do, uh, they, won't, they won't take it. That's a beautiful, uh, Shell cracker there. Beautiful fish right on the bed. It's awesome. Nice fish regardless, but we're gonna put him back right on the bed, fellas. Right on the bed. He's gonna go right here. I'm gonna let him go. That was awesome. All right guys, unfortunately I have to call it a day. It was a really great time catching uh, these bluegill and that shell cracker on the beds over there. If you have not done so, give it a chance. It's really fun and very fast action. So I really think you'll enjoy it. And uh, we'll see you guys on Sunday for another episode of Chat Cats Fishing. We'll talk to you later.